It's, it's been a minute. I mean, you know, a lot of things I change. Know. Know. You know, uh, we we not jiggly trucker no more. We we bet the we bet the shanty. We ain't jiggly trucker. Yeah, it ain't jiggly. We are, we, we I'm not the jiggly trucker. I'm still trucking. I just ain't over the road no more. Oh, see, that's, I'm that's still jiggly. That's 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 the thing. Jiggly trucker back in the building. Uh, so. So what's so so what's been going on with you? Let's let's uh let's catch up. Uh since the last time we talked. Uh thank you for coming on and uh you know playing the uh who get the front seat deal. I appreciate that. Uh but uh but but what's going on, man? I mean the last time we talked, you you know, you were still team driving. Um I think y'all was doing expedited. Uh, you still got your 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 B license, so did you uh upgrade? What was what what's going on with your jiggly trucker? Well, no, I did not upgrade. Um, I just I just decided to join home and I mean, it's a lot going on in the world, you know what I mean. And um, been going through some things so the last past couple of months, so I decided, you know, it's time for me to come home for a little while. And, uh, you know, be with my family and stuff and, and humble myself for a little bit. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Now, you you got kids, right? Yes, yes, no? No. Huh? I ain't, I ain't hear you. Wait, wait, wait. I ain't hear you. What'd you say? No, no, no kids. Uh, no, no kids. No kids? No. You want some? <laughs> In the future, in the future, in the future. Uh, all right, so, uh, so you decided. What now? You, you and your, uh, you and your partner was was expediting at the time, right? Y'all was, y'all was, mm-hmm. y'all was FedEx expediting. Well, we was expediting, but not for FedEx. Um, the company I can't, I can't, I can't really mention. I won't mention. Right, right. I ain't paying no bills, so I ain't mentioning them. Exactly. Mm-mm. So what made Mm-mm. so other than other than the family and everything that you know made you come back home? What what part of the world you're you're from? Georgia. Say you from Georgia. No, I'm from Virginia. No, oh, okay, but that's it's shit. That's still close enough, I guess. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Virginia. Um. So what 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 you coming back home to your family and everything? I mean, was was there also tensions with what the company that you was with that kind of made you you know that kind of you know put forth the saying, yo, you know what? I'm I'm just tired of this and just let me just come back to the house. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say tensions with the company. It was just expediting and as a whole and team driving as a whole. Not nothing to necessarily do with my husband or a company. It was just like, you know, when you when you're team driving they want their truck to go nonstop all the time. And it's like where when I started we could take we could take time off and we can do whatever we wanted to do. It started being like, Oh, you guys are a great team, so I know you guys can get this done and the timeline started getting shorter and shorter like from days when we had time to do things for two and three days is now going we need it done overnight and it got exhausting it's like well you know what I mean I don't even have time for myself and at a certain point I started to to lose myself and uh I couldn't figure out what it was and, and just to be frank I wasn't happy like I wasn't happy working 24 7 like you know so I was just like you know what my thought is like I can still make the same money I want to make and still have scheduled time for myself. So I'm 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 gonna go do that. You know what I mean? I shouldn't have to just stick around with something just to say I'm doing it. You know what I mean? Now, Jiggly, hearing you saying that with with as much passion that you that you're saying it, but you got a lot of you you, you got a lot of influencers out here, especially on TikTok and. And they over here saying that, hey, get into trucking, hey, get into get into team drive, hey, come out here and get this bag and all like that. But you, you honestly saying like, look, 
you know, even even with team driving with your own husband, you you started feeling some kind of way. Let let the people know, like like mental like mental health really really creeps up yeah. re- really creeps yeah. up on you when when you're, when you're out there. Yeah. Yeah, oh, and that's the thing. Uh, one thing about it, you can't live through other people. People going to tell you, yeah, get on the road. They're making this much money, all that money. Whatever they tell you they're making, don't cut that. Don't cut that in half. They lie. That's one. I mean, I'm not saying you can't make money out here, but for the time you're going to be away from your family and the time you're going to not have to be around people, at certain points, it starts to make you feel like caged in. You start to talk to yourself. You start to second guess yourself. You start gaining weight out here. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing. And that's the life you choose to live. Some people don't have a choice. This is like they, you know what I mean? They're, they're bread and butter. And for me, fortunately, I know other ways where I can get money. or I have different outlets where I can go make money. So for me, money is not everything you know i don't have kids i don't really have anything that's really holding me down to say hey i have to put my foot on this pedal and go miles away you know what i mean and then you only get one life like you know if if i'm gonna live my best life it's not gonna be on the road running for somebody that don't care if i make it home or don't care if you know what i mean i'm having a mental breakdown all they care about is they dollar you know what I mean? And I'm not with that. So, you know, make your own choice when it comes to that. So mentally you was uh you you was having a mental uh mental issues. How now what's the jiggly what what's the what's the challenges? Because a lot of people say, you know, if you're teaming with your significant other, it's a lot easier to team drive with them, but even as even as a married couple team drivers, what's what's the challenges that 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 you face? Oh, uh, the challenges, are challenges. Uh, okay, so I mean, of course, it 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 was it's great that I do have him, but you gotta understand, you're gonna hit certain points as a team driver, like I just explained to y'all, like you're going to have to go 24 seven. And when it becomes a stressor of the job and your feelings, like say, if I'm just not feeling it that day, but we have to get something done and I'm needed to get it done because, you know, he can only drive 12 hours. You know, I have to put my feelings on the, on a back burner. And when you do that for so long, frustration builds up. And, you know, you don't have nobody else to take it out on but that other person. You know what I mean? Who else you going you gonna to take it out on? So, I mean, that sounds bad. We got through a lot of tough times like that. But, I mean, is it a challenge? I guess. I guess. But just like best friends, y'all going to have fights and stuff. And it, it, does, does, it does do something to the relationship, I guess. You know what I mean? So when he started noticing the change in you, what 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 type of uh, what 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 type of what type of things he started to do to you know to kind of make it make it good for you? I mean, he was better. He was he was he was real supportive. Uh, you know, at first he tried to cope with me the best way he could. I would say so. It's like if he feels I was getting frustrated, he'll just you know I'm gonna go to the back. I'm going to let you handle this or whatever. But eventually, once he seen seen that it was getting to be too much, he kind of came up with a game plan of like, okay, we need to get you off this truck. So let's go step by step. We'll do this and that to get you off the truck. Because I don't want you to stay here and then, you know, be frustrated because it ain't no fun no more. You know what I mean? So, yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. The life of a team couple, I mean, team couples that's dealing with uh, mental issues and, and a lot of challenges that you guys overcame. And, you know, and this the part, this this is some of the part of the issues that a lot of people don't even, that don't even hear about. They just hear about all oh, how happy, happy, joy, joy, and the disco ball and all like that and what trucking this and trucking that. 
but they don't they they don't have nobody to actually come and tell them like you know like you do on the lockout man podcast show you don't have the people to actually come and tell you and be like yo this you know this is what's going to happen you this is what you're going to experience you may you may not experience the way i experience but it's going to happen eventually do, do you agree yeah, I mean, I agree with that. I mean, at the end of the day, um, you know, people try to perceive this whole trucking industry as, you know, it's uh, a party on the road, I guess. I mean, because I fell into that trap, too. Like, yeah, you're going to get all this money. You're going to be here. You're going to be here. And, you know, there's more than just 30-second clips when you truck driving. You know what I mean? Because anybody can go on TikTok um, show them somewhere fun for 30 seconds. But what they don't tell you is, well, I'm only here to stop for the night and I got to be somewhere first thing in the morning or I have, I've been driving for 10 hours straight through nothing but woods and, you know, all of the pressures with dispatchers and companies calling you on your back. You know what I mean? They're not going to tell you all that, you know, because everybody wants to live this fantasy life that they portray on social media and all of that, but you know, to to be real with you, it's it's a job just like any other job. I'm not saying you can't enjoy it. Some people enjoy it, you know. But I mean, if it was all that cracked out to be, I mean, would they be on TikTok? Wouldn't they be enjoying themselves or whatever the game buddy? Uh, you know, right? I mean, be out instead of trying to make TikTok videos of them going across the country and uh you know and stuff like that you know trying to make t- I mean trying to make trucking looking like it's it's all this craft I mean cracked up to be but it it really isn't so but uh jiggly tr- but jiggly trucker you uh you decided to go back home uh relax and reset before we touch on you and what you're doing right now, what about now? What about your husband? Did he did he decide to go back out on the road, or did he take the same route as you? Is come back home and become local? Um. Well, to be fair, um, I've, we've decided that when I do these things, like these interviews and things, I'm not going to speak for him. He's. I'm just going to say he's he's fine. We're fine. We're enjoying ourselves and things like that. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right. So you back in Virginia. So what? What are we now? We we local? We regional? I you know I see the uniform. So what? We a yard jockey? What's up? Actually, uh, yeah. All all those pictures I see is old. Um, I'm right now I am um, a local driver for a, a decent company. They get me home every day. I don't work long hours, not at all. I come in, I do my job until my job is done. I get up at five and I'm probably finished maybe about one o'clock in the evening. So plenty of, you know, work life balance and everything going on. Um yeah. And and all yeah. and and all this and all this still with your B license. Yep. That's my be like, like I said, I mean, I know how to hit the ground running. I mean, it ain't that hard to find. Just got to be willing to search for it. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Are you still, are you still willing to probably upgrade your license, or are you still content with your B? Uh, see, I don't know. Uh, and the reason why I say I don't know is because. I was given an opportunity recently and people were like, you know, we feel like you're a good fit for the job, but we feel like you should just upgrade this license. Not to say that you need it. It's just because you have so much experience. It's like, why not? It's the icing on the cake to you. And I'm just like, um, I don't know. It's something I got to think about. You know what I mean? If you're telling me I don't necessarily need it, then why well, get it? You know what I mean? But, I don't know. I'm still on the fence about it. You do you think now after all this time has passed, uh you 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 think now you you should be up to par to at least uh try to get your license, uh try to get your A's and do you think that you might have to like go through the entire process all over considering how long it was when you tried for your A's the first time? No, I mean, 
No, nah, I mean, from my understanding, uh, what I was just telling you about me, they were saying basically, like, we'll give you a truck to do it. Because, I mean, that's the thing people don't, I guess, understand. I can drive an A with no problem. I don't really need help driving an A. I just, I just have a nervous problem. Me and Tess don't get along, you know. So, from what I understand, all I would have to do is ask, can I use the truck and I can go get it. Uh, which is a good thing, but I'm just still on the fence about it because I feel as though if I go get this license and you're telling me I don't need it, it's like, well, I just did that for no reason. It's a waste of time. But if I do go get it, I guess it'll open up the door for more opportunities. Um, But when we say opportunities, it's like opportunities for who? Because I'm not interested really into driving a tractor trailer. You know what I mean? So... Or going back over the road, for that matter. Yeah, or going back over the road. So it's like, why? You know what I mean? I mean, don't get me don't get me wrong. Would it be nice to have? It's like, yeah, it'll be an accomplishment. If anything, I think I would do it for the sheer fact that I couldn't do it before, just to challenge myself. But I wouldn't get it just for the sake of getting it. Now, now how to change? Now, now, how much? How much? Did you have to adapt to to driving local and uh, adapt from driving, you know, over the road, you know, uh, teaming HOS hours and all like that? How is the HOS hours different now than that? You know, you just you just drive local. Do you still got to do you still got to, you know, go through the, you know, regulations, the rules and regulations that you would add if you were still driving? Yeah, I mean, we still got HOS, um, but adapting, uh, I can't explain it. Uh, me uh, just adapting from over the road, because you know when I was OTR, I was driving overnights and stuff, so I had to adapt to that. But as far as HOS, yeah, we got an hours of service, but um, I don't, we don't drive that far. So it's like I might take a, all of about five hours driving time a day. So that don't really, it don't really shake nothing. Um, but as far as adapting in general from the road to being home, now that's a whole different story. It's hard to adapt because nothing's the same. You know what I mean? When you on the road 365 days a year, you know, might come home for Christmas. Uh, it's a lot living at home. It's, 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 it's a culture shock. You know what I mean? Is is it all right, Now, being that you are able to come home, you get up at 5, you get done at about 1 o'clock, you have plenty plenty of time to yourself you know you shit shave and shine and 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 get some of that good d in and all like that but after (laughs) but uh but after bro make up your mind on what you're gonna do now if you're gonna slide over slide over (laughs) uh how how uh how how you know how how's how's that feeling you know i already said that you know as much is as much to adapt but i mean is it is it really that much to adapt that's it's like this is like you know the the golden ticket to 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 come home every day uh, at least that's what a lot of people is looking for. And a lot of people claim that you got to go over the road and get all your experience and all like that in order to go local. Right. I mean, and like I said, as, as I said, I mean, I got plenty of experience. When I say it's a culture shock, uh, oh, I, I've come from me and my husband being together every single day to me coming home to have to deal with other people and their personalities. I only had to deal with one personality, maybe two if I'm on the phone with a dispatcher or something. So when you come home and you have to deal with all of these different personalities and everything's like in your face and you go from having money to just bullshit with to now you actually have to have responsibilities because you get off a truck. When we got on the truck, we let everything go. Um, The house, the cars, everything go. So you got to come home find the car, do this, do it within a matter of time. It's a very, it's a very fast pace. You know what I mean? So 
when I say that culture shock, it's like, oh my God, like, damn, I really got to put up with people. I'm used to just being able to, you know, shut my dough, cut up my goddamn music and keep on going. Like, I don't have to deal with this. And I guess from other people's perspective, from what I've heard, was like, I'm very standoffish or very, you know, just kind of done with it. You know what I mean? Because I'm not used to having to explain myself. It's like, where you going? Don't worry about it. You know what I mean? Like, you know, but, you know. It's, it's just Man, different. listen, you're a grown-ass woman. Who, other than your, uh, uh, what else was I say? I said, other than your husband, man, that you had to answer to, who, who the hell you answer? Like, yo, where you going? And? <laughs> who? Like, what? Mama, like, my mom was paralyzed and stuff. So, you know, if I go see my mama, she's going to be like, where you going? Like, I'm worried about it. And to her, it might seem like I'm being sent off, but I'm not used to answering to you like that no more. You know what I mean? I don't I have to be here. But, you know, yeah, that's that's a, stuff like that. that that's how my mom's is. She, she'll come upstairs. I'll what? be I'll be sitting down chilling and all like that. She'll come upstairs and I get ready to go. Where are you going? I'm going out. Mm-hmm. Where? Out, out where? I'm going out. Wait, Hi. I'm in my I'm I'm in my I'm I'm fifty. She be like, yeah, oh, but I'm. Uh, she be like, yeah, but I'm still your mom. Like, mom, you're only 20 years older than me. I, what the hell, man? Do I do 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 right? Right? Do I come? Do I come downstairs and be like, "Yo, where you going?" <laughs> I'm, a, I'm still in my child's. I'm still in my child's place, <laughs> and I'm 53 years old. <laughs> Oh uh, man, but that's you know that's how parents is man. That's 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 what they are. They would have never changed. Um, a jiggly trucker, thank you very much for coming back on and catching up with me. I really do appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I, I appreciate you know appreciate you you know talking to the, you know talking to me and everything and still being a friend of the show for all these years. You know I like that. Um, the price or the or the uh or the settlement value variance is totally different from coming back local too right did did you have to did you have to take any type of salary cut or you or you you took a salary increase uh, it's 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 right about the same um if I'm talking about my portion of a of a team pay, it's about the same. Um, I'm not too much, not too much of a difference. Um, but that could dip in between. Like if I get overtime, of course I'm gonna get a little more than what I was getting on the road. But other than that, it's not really that bad. It's not a difference. All right, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right, Jiggly Trucker, thank you very much. You guys know what's up. The best conversation starts here on the Lockout Man Podcast Show. And if you want to jump on, it's 216-600-2090. Let me know if y'all want to jump on and chop it up. This like my girl, Jiggly Trucker. Jiggly, as again, thank you very much for coming on. You stay safe out there in Virginia, the great state of Virginia. I think I pass by uh-huh. there all the time. <laughs> I yeah, you know the, the the company that I drive for. Yeah, I I, I can't never stop for shit. I'm just saying. Uh-huh. <laughs> you talking uh-huh. about? You know, you talking Bad. about? You talking about expedited or something? Try doing LTL in multiple stops. Yeah, try try that. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know. But uh, but right. yeah, but yeah, it is what it is, man. But you know, like you said before, you know, I get into my mental state too, and a lot of people don't talk about it. But yeah, when 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 your when your mental health start breaking down, you 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 gotta step back. You gotta you gotta get yourself right because it's a lot of dangerous things uh that be that that can happen to you out here while your while your mental stability is messed up. Right. Correct. So, and that's all. That's all. That's all I'm saying. If it, if it's 
it's just good to see you that bad. Don't let the road go. There's there's other ways to make money, man. Especially you if know? you still got your license, you might not even need your uh, right. you might not even need your uh, DOT uh, card for some places. So think about that. Right. All right, Jiggly, All right. you take it easy, and uh, I'll holler back at you at another at, at another one. All right. All right, girl, take it easy now. I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it. Me, class kids, it went pop. Death to the hater won't stop. Let's talk key scales, it won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. Me and Mozart, bars, you got pops. Urge writing Tiffany, a whole symphony. You a symptom to me, but go off. Or make a masterpiece for you, or at least it's gonna hit like rum, pump, pump. Y'all fit to me like the symphony. Your career's done, done, done.